Welcome back. Still working on puzzles. Yesterday I crossed 1804, which was pretty awesome. Mm, let's see. Here, I can take this knight with Jack, which forces a recapture. Say, queen or pawn. I'm going to assume queen. Um... The reason I suggest that first, other than say this capture, wait, that one also is with Jack. Let's see which one's better. I think that one's better. The reason is, even though that one has the same choices for recapture as this one, queen or pawn, and I assume in order to preserve the pawn structure that the opponent would use the queen either way, I think this one might be better because I would have the follow-up capture of this bishop that's unprotected. This bishop is currently unprotected. Now here, once the queen captured, then the bishop is protected by the queen. But here, capture the bishop and say check. Queen recaptures, or pawn, doesn't matter. But let's just say the queen, because that bring, comes up something later. Then I get the bishop for free, and our queens face each other. So black could capture my queen at that point, but I would recapture with one of the two rooks, or the knight, don't know which one. And I would come out of this with a free bishop. So I think that's going to be the solution. But we'll find out in just a second. Okay. Oh, they took with the pawn, so our queens do not face each other. Okay, that's simplified. If they had taken with the queen, then there would have been a more difficult solution because I would have had to have guessed which rook to recap. Sorry, wow, my lines are not going far enough. Uh, which piece to recapture with, and I probably would have got that. Okay. Um, check, which they can block. But that, I get a rook for a knight if I do that. Or I can capture, and they can recapture, but then what do I do? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Anything else? Anything else? I mean, pushing the pawn is not a good idea because then... Well, no, that would still be an even trade, and I would have a pawn one square for promotion. I think I might actually do that in a game, because I am not typically a trade-trade type person in games. In games, I'm much more willing to let them do the trading. Because now, how are they going to stop that pawn? They have to bring the rook back and lose it for this. But I'm going to guess this is the solution. Oh, I was wrong. Was it the pawn? Was it the pawn? No. Nope. What was it? Come on, give me a hint. It was capturing. And now what? Now the pawn? Oh, okay. Well, now I'm lower than when I started. So, let's see. Here, I'm actually up on material by one pawn. It looks like we both have two rooks, a queen. They have three pawns. I have one pawn. So I'm actually slightly up on material. But my, I don't know if this king doesn't look as safe as, the, as that king for right now. That king is guarded by a battery of rooks. I'm wondering if I shouldn't make a battery of my own. What would, what would white do in that case? Because I would be threatening checkmate. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I think if I did that, white would bring that rook there to block. And that rook would be guarded by both the queen and the king. So if I captured it, 
Oh, wait. Okay, threatening checkmate. They block. I capture. If they recapture, I lose two rooks for a rook and a queen. Oh, well, I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay. They wanted to keep the two rooks together, but ended up losing a queen for a rook. Okay. So I'm, what, one point ahead or one point behind of where I started? Um, hmm. This looks like fairly early in a game. My opponent has spent a lot of time pushing pawns. I've only pushed two pawns, but I've got, I've developed a bishop and a knight and somehow got this queen out here. How in the world did that queen get out here? I, I don't know. Um, wondering if there's some sort of sacrifice involved here. I see I can jump into this really nice outpost square, but it doesn't actually threaten anything. I can say check, and I don't think they can block, can they? None of those pieces can block. I'm going to be forced to move here, where I have a follow-up check. Is that mate? That almost looks like checkmate. Wow. Okay, it was checkmate. I spent too much time looking at the development of the pieces. It just distracted me because it's so rare that these puzzles are barely out of the opening. That looked like maybe move eight or something. Okay, this one is much further along. We are... I am down a couple of pawns, two, two each on the king's side and four to two on the queen's side. Um, and I have just been put into check which I cannot block, so I have to move. These tend to frustrate me because I have one, two, three choices for getting out of check. And it seems like I always choose the wrong. Let's see. Because if I go here, they can just say check again. If I go here, then they have... Wait, if I go here or here, they can say check again there or there. Does that mean it's this one? Because they cannot say check again here, right? Can it? Not safely because of my bond. That might be it because they cannot say check again. Okay, that was it. And here, I can just win the rook, right? All right. I, I suppose the opponent had to do that because I was threatening a checkmate back here. Okay. Let's see. Um, this knight is protected. I can say check, which forces the... No, it does not force the king back because the king can come here. which would be dangerous to my knight. However, however what? Um, let's see. That may not be the best move, but I know this is not the best move because I lose a rook for a knight, and then I'm in danger of back rank checkmate here because I don't have an escape square for my king. Wait. Oh, uh, wow. I just saw I can just take this rook. When that rook recaptures, I get the knight. Oh, well, it put me in check instead. Oh. 
Ooh. Did not see that coming. When I move out of check, let's check mate. So I have to capture, which gives me an escape square. Okay. <clears throat> that I did not expect, but it looks like I lost, I captured a knight and a rook for a rook. Okay, well that did work out good for me. Oh, I just realized I've crossed the 10 minute barrier, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try one more puzzle since I already clicked next. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have. This one looks very complex. If that knight wasn't there, this would be a <clears throat> pretty decent check, but the knight is there. Ooh, what about this? That's a check. And that knight and the queen guard this escape square. The pawn also guards that escape square and this one. Its own, white's own pieces guard all the other escape squares and my queen guards this one. So that would force the knight to move here. Okay, let's try this again. Check, that forces the knight move, which I would then capture and that would be mate. Because it's protected by the, wait, wait. It's protected by the pawn, but the knight will the knight will capture. Then I will recapture. I think. Oh, now I recapture with the queen, because the queen will guard these other squares. Ooh, okay. I'm now at 12 minutes. Thank you for watching. We made almost 40 points in improvement today, although there was one little loss in there. Looks like. Okay. See you next time.